I'm usually pretty good about saying no. Like in, do you want to try this $2,800 guitar? Definitely not, because then I'm going to want it. But I made the mistake of looking at some of my friend's photos from the Food of Foo in Patagonia, Chile, and I knew that I had to go. We landed in Balmesida and met our fellow adventurers and Eric, one of the owners of Earth River. We drove six hours through the spectacular Andes Mountains, finally arriving at a small lodge where we'd spend the first night. We took a pre-dinner kayak paddle on the lake. The next day, after another few hours in our Mercedes bus, we arrived at the Fu. We'd spend the first afternoon ducking some quick water and then arrived at our camp where an oxen cart hauled our gear. Since Julie and I were the only couple, we were awarded the honeymoon suite dwelling perched on the cliff overlooking the river. The camps blended rustic feel with creature comforts, flush toilet outhouses, gravity-fed hot water showers, and wood-fired hot tubs. We dined al fresco with a view. The next day we visited a small village before putting on the river to run Inferno Canyon. Wish I had more pictures of the rapids, but it's tough to shoot while paddling 20,000 CFS in class five rapids. After some spectacular paddling, we arrived at cave camp and enjoyed the hideaway beach, a short swim, and a tasty dinner. Day, we did a Tyrolean traverse across Class 6 Zeta Rapid and began our hike up to the Lake of Frogs, enjoying picturesque views as we climbed. At the Lake of Frogs base, we stayed in tree houses. The intricate design of arbor lodges was like a cross between Ewok Village and Swiss Family Robinson. The views were spectacular. In the morning, we hiked back down to the river. The guides had set up a zip line. We'd spend an afternoon tumbling into the river, warming up in the hot tub, cliff diving into the tailwaters of Zeta Rapid, and then repeating over and over again. In the afternoon, we donned harnesses and climbed El Toro de Viente, or the Tower of Winds. Then we rappelled down. It was New Year's Eve, so we enjoyed some champagne that we had chilled in a spring-fed cool at cave camp. After more rapid running the next day, we spent a few hours canyoning on a tributary stream, then arrived at Terminator Camp. The mudslide must have occurred somewhere upstream because the river had turned from aquamarine to chocolate milk. The rapids were still thrilling, though. In the evening, we enjoyed a traditional Chilean asada. Our traveling companions were fun, adventure-loving folks. The guides were incredibly skilled and attentive, the scenery brilliant, and I got a chance to experience it all with my lovely bride. I'm glad they made a mistake of looking at those pictures. If you get a chance, make the same mistake and go.